Tunnel Museum was uh, was made by my family after the war immediately. In 1996, we decided to keep a very important part of history in our garden, you know. First, just for itself, because nobody was visiting this place after the war, you know. But later, you know, when people started coming, we saw we have to do more, you know, here, and we started improving this place. And as you can see today, this is a this is a small museum, but you can see actually everything's what 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 happened at that time, you know, here in Sarajevo. I joined the army when I was 17 at the beginning of the war, and uh, I had a chance to one year one year to work here in the tunnel in the military police also. Actually, at the beginning of the war, Yugoslav army occupied the airport, and the city was cut off from the free territory. And uh, after a while, UN forces take the airport from the Serbs, they made some kind of agreement with them and they started delivering humanitarian aid by planes, you know. Because that was our chance to go out, uh, outside of the city, we decided to ignore, you know, their agreement with the Serbs and we ran across the airport. But it was always dangerous. If UN soldiers catch you, you had to go back. Uh, they send you back, actually, and you had to run again. But if Serbian snipers catch you, you are dead, you know. That was open field as every airport in the world. And many people died there. And people got the idea, you know, to to go underground. Of course, everybody was thinking about that at that time, and uh, practically army, you know, decided to build a tunnel, really. And at the beginning, the spring of 1993, they started digging from both sides at the same time to make safe communication between city and free territory. At that time, Sarajevo was center of everything, you know, in the city was president, government, everything, you know. If you lost in one country, that, you know, you don't have any more country, you know. And uh, at that time, tunnel was the only reason why Sarajevo didn't fall down, you know. Through this tunnel, we get weapons for defense, we get more food, you know, medicines, other things, you know. And, uh, you know, people survive thanks to this place. That's why it's important, not only for Sarajevo, for Bosnia.